Hi all, welcome to Salesforce in 5 minutes. In this video, we are going to understand very basics of LWC, which means what file, there are multiple files in LWC, right? So which file is responsible for what things we are going to learn in this video. But before I start this video, I request you to please consider subscribing to this channel. So let's jump back to our video. So right now, if I like for an example, Aura components, usually whenever I have to write a co code for Aura components, I can write itself inside the developer console. Okay. So whenever I want to write a code inside Aura component itself, I can write directly inside the developer console. But if I want to write the code inside LWC, I need to use something, some external uh, IDE. Okay. That can be Visual Studio Code. That can be LWC Editor. I prefer using LWC Editor, but you can also go with Visual Studio Code. So Visual Studio Code, you can uh, build your LWC component and once it is built, you can deploy your LWC component to your Salesforce org. Now in this video or in upcoming videos, we are going to more use on LWC editor because it's quite easier to maintain and it's quite faster as compared to Visual Studio Code. So if you want to uh, download LWC editor, you can just go to the Chrome and then search for LWC editor. It's just an extension. Just download that extension and whenever you go to your Salesforce org, just click on this extension. Automatically, you will be able to find out this Lightning Studio, uh, uh, Lightning Studio extension along with it. Now, as soon as you click on it, your LWC editor will open and here you can create uh, whatever components you want. You can edit your existing components or etc etc et kind of stuff. Okay, now in this video, I'm just going to create a simple component and I'm going to explain you what is the significance of each of this file so that you can understand in the future videos what I'm trying to do. Now, in order to create a new component, I am just going to lie, write it as basic, basic LWC. Okay, I'm going to make it as is exposed. I'll, I'll explain you what is the use of this is exposed and everything and also the targets I'm going to explain you. So just keep this thing in mind, whatever I'm uh, providing the targets as, right? So just keep these things in mind that I'm providing some kind of targets. I'll give you the significance of it in just in five, 10 minutes. I'm going to include the SSS, SS file, SVG file as well, and I'm going to deploy it. Okay, so my basic LWC file is created. Now, as you can see at the left side, I can see the basic LWC component that I've recently created, right? Now, there are five files inside it. One is HTML, one is JS file, one is CSS file, one is meta file, and one is SVG file. Now, let's understand the use of each of this file. Now, HTML file, right now, as soon as I am opening, I'm able to see this HTML file, right? So, this is a template. So, the way your LWC component is looking, like there's a button at the right side, the button is at the left side, there's an input box. Uh, the look and the feel of your LWC component completely depends upon this HTML file. Okay, so the view of the your LWC component, like there's an input box, there are multiple box, there are tabs at the top, the look and the feel, okay? Just the look and the feel of your LWC component completely depends upon this HTML file. So this is the significance of HTML file. <clears throat> Now there is another file called as a JavaScript file, JS file. The JS file in LWC is most commonly used to pull the data from Salesforce. Okay, either to pull the data from Salesforce and show it inside the HTML file or either put the data. For an example, I have an input box over here in HTML file. As soon as I click the button over here, what it will do is it will take the data to JS and after taking it to the JS, it will pull it inside the Salesforce. So now JS file is used in order either to pull the data from Salesforce or either to put the data back to Salesforce. There is third one more use of JavaScript file, which is one of the most famous use that is to show the client side validations. So you have certain kind of validations which you have to show it on the client side without hitting the server. That's where you could use the JavaScript file. So JavaScript file basically is used for three purposes in LWC to pull the data from Salesforce, to push the data from Salesforce, also to do some kind of calculations, small calculations, which can be done over here without actually putting the data inside your uh, uh, Salesforce or either hitting the data to uh, your server side or either you want to fire and validation. We just want to fire an error message or vi validation or you have to show the toast. That's where you go with JavaScript file. So JavaScript file is just acting as a communication bridge, uh, communication bridge between your Apex, your Salesforce org and your HTML file. Next is a CSS file. Now, if you want to enhance the look and the feel of your HTML file, so there is a button you want it to be read. 
you want that button to be round shaped or something like that if you want certain kind of functionality right you want to build a specific kind of an fi let's say you have a form right and you want that form to be very beautiful you want images at the back end you want uh, extra css to be added extra look and the feel to this website or to, to that component that's where you go with css so whenever you want to add extra uh, look and feel to your uh, component that's where you go with css this file meta file we worked with it just before like just two three minutes before we worked whenever i was creating a uh, component right when i was creating a component they were asking me about targets right so this is what it is so whatever i selected over here automatically all these things are available over here so i selected record page i selected app page everything i have selected now what is the significance of meta file now whenever you want your component to be visible at different different parts of your salesforce org that's where you use meta file so for an example i want my lwc component should be able to i should be able to put my lwc component inside the record page so for an example i i, I want my lwc component should be able to i should be able to view my lwc component over here in the record page itself or if i want it to be inside the related list that's where i go with relate record page lightning record page if i want my lwc component should be able to i should be able to add my lwc component to the home right or the home tab of my salesforce of like in this home tab i want to add my lwc component that's where i go with lightning home page next is a uh, lightning community page if you want to add your lwc component to the community that's where you go with lightning community page and vice versa also app page if you want to add your lwc component to a salesforce one mobile app that's where you go with lightning app page so this is the significance so this file is most probably used uh, to determine where do you want to deploy or where do you want to show your component at the end okay and if you do not expose it is true you won't be able to view that lwc, LWC component itself you have to first L, uh, expose your lwc component and only after that you can add it to your targets like lightning record page or app page if it's not exposed if it's false i won't be able to see it inside the lightning record page app page or anywhere so this is the use of this meta file last and the final is nothing but the svg file now, uh, now if you want to retrieve the images from the uh, documents or from another system like for an example i have to retrieve the images from uh, let's say uh, xyz website right if i want to retrieve that images and i have to show it on my screen right it will be quite difficult right i have to pull the data from another another uh, website and i have to show it right and it can uh, increase the load on the system it can reduce the speed of the overall system now in order to remove that what we can do is we can add all the documents or 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 we want images to uh, that should be uh, visible in our website whatever images or anything we want in our website to be visible we can add it to the svg file so what will happen is the overall whatever the images that we want they will be also available within this svg file itself so i don't need to pull it from another website and need to show it on my html file but it will be available in this file structure itself so i'll be easily able to pull the images and show it on my html file so that's the basic use of SV, svg file so with the help of svg file you don't need to retrieve the images from the server or through the documents or through the static resources so there is no dependency on the external hosted images so that's where you can use if we can create an animation inside the svg with the help of svg so these are the basic use of each of this file in lwc if you found this video helpful please consider subscribing to this channel